In North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains. You see one over here that might work? Three generations of the Amaboli family okay. continuing a tradition. What do you think about that one? That. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little thing. In all, four trees, including one for seven-year-old Charlie Rain's bedroom. And why did you choose this tree of all the trees? Because it um, had a lot of greenery on it. Along the East Coast, the tree on your neighborhood lot likely was grown in North Carolina. I was driving a tractor when I was nine years old. <laughs> Farmer Joe Freeman. Well, Fraser fir is most popular just because of the overall appearance, the strong branches, the smell. But it's what you cannot see on his 350,000 tree orchard that's groundbreaking. Behind every tree, there is more than just farming. These days, there is science and, yes, even genetics for what has become the definition of the perfect Christmas tree. In a first-of-its-kind lab at North Carolina State, Justin Whitehill leads a team of researchers on the cusp of creating super trees, Christmas trees that grow in six years instead of ten. Is there an analogy to what you're doing in the lab here? So we're, we're developing the elite athletes of Christmas trees, essentially. Scientists extract DNA and at the molecular level pinpoint what allows some to grow faster than others. This is a clump of embryos or baby trees. Embryos that are cloned and then grafted into saplings like many of those now growing on Joe Freeman's farm. Four decades of research finally paying off just as climate change becomes an urgent challenge. We've got to build a better tree so when we do have a, a early frost, a late frost, uh, a wet season, a dry season, whatever, we need a tree that's that's robust enough to live through that. Here in the research orchards, more progress. You want the needles to stay on, but you're also working on... On the, the aroma of the tree. The aroma. Yeah. It smells great. It smells great, yeah. And you thought that perfect Christmas tree, like the one in Charlie Rain's bedroom, was just good luck. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Laurel Springs, North Carolina. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.